Hey guys, it's Tony from Bill with A&E. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> so guys, the reason uh, we're doing this filming today Hey guys, it's Tony from a &E Construction. You're watching Bill with a &E, and today is an exciting day. And the reason it's an exciting day because we have a new project. And the difference with this project compared to other projects is we want to get you guys really involved with this project. And the way we're gonna do that is that we're gonna go through the drawings, but then what we're gonna then do is then we're gonna ask you guys to put the comments and the questions down below, which will allow us then to focus in on the actual build process and give you then the content that you want so follow us on that journey let me go through the drawings with you let's have a look oh first things first gotta put my glasses on so I won't be able to see anything and then I'll be telling you the wrong information which is no good is it so the drawings these are from a company called easy plan the architect is a guy called Andrew Hartshaw and does some really really nice drawings really cool guy as well so the first thing that we're going to look at is the elevation so here we've got a proposed west elevation we've got a proposed rear elevation on the north side we've then got a proposed side elevation on the east and then obviously then we've got the proposed front elevation on the south so what I'll then do is I'll jump straight to the proposed rear elevation now what you can see here is we've got a two-story here and then with a nice pitched roof which is in the same line as the existing roof and then we've then got a single story extension as well on the rear elevation we've also then halfway through that or three quarters of the way through that we've then got a two-story elevation then with the dormer coming through connecting onto the existing roof we then jump from that and you can see with both side elevations you can actually see this one here where we've got a couple of new windows going in we've got to move this doorway which is here we've also on the other side elevation got a couple more windows going in here and then on the front elevation we've got a single story extension going on here with some double doors above the garage area we've then got a lean-to roof going in with then obviously a window in there as well and then obviously some connection details then into the existing roof so basically we've gone through the west north east and south elevations the next thing i'll start to look at is the actual proposed cut through section now this is actually where if you can imagine getting the house and cut it in half where the new extension is going to be so what it shows us is that we've got the footings going in shows you the depth of the footings up to damp it then shows us then the cavity walls that go in these cavity walls on this extension are going to be 300 mil sometimes they're bigger the other thing it does show us it shows us a bit of the roof detail and a bit of the detail on where the steel is going to be locating also shows us then the roof and then shows us the insulation going into the ceiling void so once I've now looked at that proposed section there then the next thing I'll actually then do is go to the proposed floor plan so in that proposed floor plan what I can see is that I go into the master bedroom we're actually going to be producing two wardrobes as I can see there one on the left hand side one on the right hand side we then walk into the bedroom and there's a lovely ensuite there it's got a lovely shower cubicle to the left hand side the basins then in front of you then you've then got the toilet on the right hand side which is always I think the better wall to go to we then come out of the master bedroom and the master ensuite and then going back into the landing and we then go into bedroom two now bedroom two lovely sized room so obviously that's part of the rear extension on the north elevation we then come out of that bedroom we've then got a family bathroom now in that family bathroom we've got a lovely sized bath going in there we've got a, a basin then as you open the door the basin is then right in front of you which is going to look really really cool we then got the toilet then tucked to the left hand side we then got a lovely big shower cubicle going in there as well we then come out of that we got a storage area where we can put the airing cupboard we come out of that area we then go into bedroom three bedroom three is being extended as you can see with the cavity wall going on here relevant steel work being put in we can then go into bedroom four we're not actually doing much in bedroom four we're probably just going to do a little bit of a tidy up maybe change a few sockets and face plates there's one little detail here the new loft hatch so we've got a loft hatch with a little bit of a pull down ladder going in there as well so so that's all the relevant details that are in that first floor proposed plan we then go to the proposed ground floor plan now in this we are doing relevant works in the hallway as you can see which is through all of this section here we then actually got to build a single story side extension and front extension 
to increase the space in the porch area now you can see this is a lovely sized porch we've got double doors going in so as you walk through the porch way you've got a nice coat cupboard there from coming out into the rest of the porch way into the hallway where the staircase is we're going to be renewing all of the balustrading on the staircase there we're going to be renewing all of the floor in the hallway and then from there we then go into the garage area which is then going to have some new steel work put in there to obviously hold up the relevant two-story extension on the front which then increases the room to bedroom three we then come out of the garage and we're then going into the wc that's going to be a new space new toilet new basin put in we then come out of that that's going to be a tiled floor we're coming out of that area there going into the utility that's going to be a lovely tiled floor as well we're then going to put a new basin and utility units in there with storage covers to the left or right hand side depending on what the client would like we're then going to go into the kitchen area now in the kitchen area this is going to be an amazing space we've got kitchen dining room and it's just going to be absolutely colossal it's going to be absolutely beautiful now we've had a kitchen design for the kitchen space now that part of the kitchen is the existing part of the kitchen now obviously the new it two stories extension incorporates the dining room area so we've got kitchen area in here we then got the table and chairs in this dining room area here you then walk through into the family room now this family room is going to be amazing the amount of light that's going to cascade through into that family room is going to be so amazing it's just going to be beautiful and then we've got this beautiful lantern above so obviously in the evening you'll be able to look up and see the stars and then through into that family room we're then walking through where we've got some beautiful sliding doors we're then going to walk into the living room space now we're not actually doing much work in the living room space we might be renewing the floor and then putting a wooden floor down we're not too sure yet same with the family room that might have a wooden floor in there as well in the dining room and in the kitchen area and the utility and the wc that's going to all be tiled but the whole floor area in the utility kitchen dining room and family room all of that's going to be under floor heating which is going to be really really nice the last thing on the floor plan is always good to look at is the footings obviously we've got the footings in this section here you can see on the all new extension footings going across here and returning around and then going back into then the existing building the one thing that hasn't been shown on the drawings which I'm going to do is I'm going to put an additional footing straight through the center here and the reason being is that I've decided that the most cost-effective way for us is to put a block and beam system in because doing that it allows me then to get the job done a little bit quicker, be more efficient, more cost effective as well, which is really key. And then the only other thing that I am going to do, I've decided looking at this drawing, the drains that run across the dining room, the family room, I'm actually gonna move the drain outside the building because it's always my personal preference to try and get as much of the drainage always outside the building. Don't like the idea of running drains through. It's not always possible. Sometimes you have to do it, but because this is such a long run, I'd rather have that drain outside the building. So I hope that really, really give you a lot more information in the build that we're going to be doing. This gives you a really good opportunity to put all your comments and questions down below to get you really involved with this build process, which we're really excited about. If you enjoyed this video, put a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button because that really does help for our channel. And then also check out our Instagram account, check out the LinkedIn, and also then check out the Facebook account as well. Have a great week. Take care, guys.